today to do a little project. We are going to be uh, hauling some logs uh, out of the back 40. And so uh, it's a little dicey because there's a great big uh, hill back there. And so we got to go up and over that with the tractor and some, and some logs. So we just got to go slow and uh, we'll get some good video of that. Yeah, you can see there's there's quite a bit of snow still. So hopefully this is going to work out. The roads might be melted off from the sun. It's the middle of April now, so the sun's pretty uh, intense and, and can melt things off if it can shine in there. But you can see it doesn't melt it into the woods. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be uh, doing that job today. And uh, so thanks for being with us today. We're going to keep it in the timber. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. All right, we are here at the barn. I'm gonna get Max uh, out of the barn. So our Kubota MX 5800. I'm gonna get that out. So let's see how he's doing in here. All right guys, just got the tractor out and uh, wasn't running so good. And so this is what I found under the hood. This is quite the nest. I think we're okay here on the tractor. Uh, Got the nest cleaned out and it, it seemed to start running okay. So hopefully uh, this day will go okay for us. But uh, you know, one of the things about this tractor, Max, the 58, uh, MX 5800, is that it's, um, it's a little light in the rear end. And uh, I'm gonna be carrying lots of heavy logs uh, with the grapple here. And so uh, I wanna get a little ballast on the back. and. <laughs> I have some weights that I hang on the uh, box scraper, but they are not here. They are at uh, my brother's house. And so I'm gonna have to rig something up. So my plan is to uh, take these two logs right here. Just some oak logs. And I'm gonna kind of prop them up here and tie them down. Not the best uh, method, I'm sure, but it'll get me by. So that's my plan, tie those logs on and uh, hopefully make it a little bit safer. We'll just take it slow. Beautiful day today. So far, it's been uh, it's been quite the morning. I haven't gotten any work done, but uh, we got a mouse in the tractor, mice in the blind. I fell down. <laughs> Oops, a little slippery. Down she goes. It's luckily didn't break or lose anything on that one. So we are ready. Uh, I'm gonna head back into the woods and see if I can get these logs out and. With all this snow, I don't know, it might be too slippery. So we might have to go to plan B, which we'll get in some other logs out of the forest. There's some land that I can't access here on the front, which is much flatter. But uh, we're gonna head up in the hills and um, 
see if I can get those logs out. It was a food plot that was cut a while ago and it's it's been a tough time getting those logs out over the years. So I just kind of pick away at it and I'm kind of down to the last little bit. So that's the plan. But as you know, guys, uh, timber time outdoors, things never go as planned. <laughs> Wood pile. You kind of see it there over my shoulder. It's pretty big. Flip you around here. Let's take a look at it. So it's about six feet high. Got to be a few cord of wood there. I don't think I'm going to get all this done today, but I will do as best I can get started on it. There's some great wood in here for the fires, anyways. So I'm going to go up that great big hill with it. Let's take it slow. Give you a look at the wood I'm taking with me here today. It's kind of a mix. Um, some pine in here, oak, I think there's some maple. It's kind of junk wood, you know. Um, what I'll do with this is I'll, a lot of it's pretty dry. I'll cut this up, split it, and I'll sell it for what I call a bonfire mix. I save all the good oak for uh, for winter burning and get a little bit more money for the oak. So, so anyway, this is, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like much right now, but we'll We'll process it and make it all pretty and we'll do a video on how I saw my firewood. There's lots of ways to do it. I'll show you how I do it. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. It was a good day on the tractor. Got the uh, dump trailer filled up as well as a pretty big pile I'll go show you here. But uh, if you like this kind of thing, um, I can uh, link a video here, see if I can point to it. We'll link a video to some more action that we've done uh, in the past. So thanks for being with us today. Um, Timber Time Outdoors is just uh, devoted to spending time in the woods and we've got some hunting land here we maintain and as we go through the summer I'll be showing you know some of our hunting techniques and things we've done to the land to improve the deer habitat. But uh, just go over here and you can see this pile that we got going. It's getting pretty big. I've been cutting for a few months now and uh, about half the wood I harvest I bring ho home in the dump trailer and cut that up and split it and then I've been uh, making a great big pile right here.
But yeah, my goal is to get a commercial log splitter here at some point and buck all that up and see how fast I can go through it. So, so anyway, I'll wrap this up here. Thanks for being with us. Um, please subscribe, hit like. It really helps out the channel. I know it's uh, one of those things everybody asks for, but uh, it really does help. So um, uh, putting putting all this video together and so forth and camera equipment costs money. So anyway, thanks for being with us. Thanks for subscribing and keep it in the timber. Everybody.